What's up, y'all? Tracy here, and we have finally reached the season finale of Ruby. I have been waiting for this. I heard that pretty much every Ruby episode ends in kind of a cliffhanger, or at least most of them end in a cliffhanger, including the finales, which is to be expected. If you don't end a season finale with a cliffhanger, you're doing TV and animation and story wrong. The point, like, it's to keep you hanging on for the next season. So I fully expect this to have a cliffhanger ending. I just hope, I hope it's not, like, really fucked up. We'll see. I loved the last episode. It was probably one of my favorite episodes in the entire series so far. It had character development, I feel like, for all the characters. Except for, I guess, Ruby wasn't a main focus in that in the last episode. Which might have been a nice thing for me. Because... Main character syndrome, as I call it, tends to mean the world revolves around me, and um, I don't really like those characters very much. I prefer to focus on the characters that don't get as much spotlight, so it's really nice that we got to see a lot of the other character development in the last episode. Um, Yang still has yet to have any real character development, and I'm alright with that. She's really funny, and I still enjoy the fact that she was at least in the last episode, for more than five seconds. We uh, found out that Black is one of those fawn people, one of those half people, half, half animal creatures, which wasn't really surprising. Um, kinda guessed that. I mean, under that big old bow of hers were ears. We also learned a lot about White and why she hates those kind of people. I always have this problem with a with radicals of either side, because I feel like if you just hate the opposite side, you can never come to a compromise or figure out a way to understand each other. You have to see things from every point of view to really be able to fully dissect and understand it. You cannot just have one strong view and hate every other view that isn't like yours. And I feel like white and black both have such strong fucking hatred and feelings that I don't know, I think Black Blake is probably Blake is probably a lot more open minded about humans than I'd say Weiss is about about the mixed creatures. I don't know. But I'm excited. This episode is called Black and White and this should be fucking great. Um Yeah, let's fucking get it. Let's go. I'm excited. I'm excited. Season finales are always the most crazy episodes. Finally, she speaks. Nearly two days, and you mm. nothing but small talk and weird looks. Sexy monkey yeah, boy. like that. Son, <laughs> are you familiar with the White Fang? Of course. I don't think there's Duh. a faunus on the planet who hasn't Come heard of Come on, girl. Stupid, Everybody's heard of them. Stupid, holier-than-thou creeps that use force to get whatever they want. Bunch of freaks, if you ask me. <laughs> I was once a member of the White Fang. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. He's like, you were a member of the White Fang? He's like, oops. That's right. I was just kidding. Most of my life, it's not, actually. You can they're not freaks. <clears throat> Back then, things were different. In the ashes of war, the White Fang was meant to be a symbol of peace and unity between humans and the Faunus. Of course, yep. despite being promised equality, the Faunus were subjected to discrimination and hate. Humanity still thought of That's us as a lot of the time beings. how it goes. And so, the White Fang rose up as a voice of our people. And I was there. Yeah. I was at the front of every rally. I took part in every boycott. I I'm not we surprised. But I was just hipster, a optimist. Hipster then, liberal five Blake. Years ago, our leader stepped down, and a new one took his place. A new leader with a new way of thinking. Suddenly, our peaceful protests were being replaced with organized attacks. We were setting fire to shops that refused to serve us, hijacking cargo from mm. companies that used bonus labor. This is probably and when the she worst quit. Was, it was working. We were being treated like equals, but not out of respect. And out of fear. fear, yeah. So, I left. I decided I no longer wanted to use my skills to aid in their violence. And instead, I would dedicate my life to becoming a huntress. So here dedicate their lives? A criminal hiding in plain view. All with the help of a little black bow. So, have you told your friends any of this? Fighting crime and the forces of Yay! evil. Might be able to help the police. 
the police shut up twice. Oh my god. Yeah, bad one. Twice, I think we should hear her <laughs> side of the story before we jump to any conclusions. I think yes. you all realize I was right. And I think Weiss's hair looks wonderful today. This bitch. What, what the to? fuck is she? She's uh, so weird. For our friend Blake. Oh, you mean the Faunus girl. I like a... Wait, how did you know that? I feel uh, like Yang and Mir are what cat are pretty she similar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so she where does is like she? tuna a lot. Don't know. She's been missing since Friday. <gasps> That's terrible. Well, don't you worry, Ruby, my friend. I won't rest until we find your teammate. Uh, that's really nice of you, Penny. Uh, but we're we're okay, really. Right, guys? Right, guys? <laughs> they left my ship. Ran away. It sure is Peace windy, out. Eh? Ruby, this so, is why you don't just call anybody now? your friend. You I get stalkers. Still believe the white fang is behind these robberies. They've never needed that much dust before. What if they hmm. did? I mean, the only way to prove that they didn't do it is to go to the place where they would most likely go to if they were to do it and not find them there. Right? The only thing is, I have no idea where that would be. Well, while I was on the ship, hmm. I heard some guys talking about offloading a huge shipment of dust coming in from Atlas. How huge? Oh. Huge. Big Shinny Company freighter. You're sure? Well, that's where that's whoever is the bad guy is this gonna is be. Hopeless. Aww, these you really two. You don't care if we find her, do you? Don't be stupid. Of course I do. I'm just really afraid don't of what care, she'll say do when you? we find her. The innocent never run, Yang. So, Blake is your friend? <sighs> yes, The Penny. innocent never but run, you're Yang. Mad at her? Yes. Well, well I'm not. Weiss is. Is yeah. she friends with Blake? Well, that's kind of up in the air <laughs> right now. <But> why? <sighs> well, you see, Blake might not be who we thought she was. Is she a man? No. Is no, she a man? Anything. This I don't lady. Know what she is. She didn't exactly this Penny girl is really fucking weird. I don't, I don't know what it is friends. about her. But if I did, yeah, we know. I want them to talk we to know you don't have friends. friends. We know you're a loser. Me too. Me too. Hmm. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, they're gonna find out they who did it. All the crates from the boat. Now they're just sitting there. My cool. guess is obviously just Roman. Some food. Do you always break <laughs> the law without a second thought? Hey, weren't you in a cult or something? Weren't you in a cult? Okay. <laughs> Stop. This guy. I like this guy a lot. I'll say I'm far more attracted to him than Jean, but but I I like Jean more as a character so far. Oh no. Mm. Is that them? Is it? It's yes. gotta be. Look. It's them. Yep. All right. Grab the tow cable. You really didn't think they were behind it. Did you? No, I think deep down I knew. I just didn't want to be right. Hey, what's the hold up? We're not exactly hey. the most conspicuous bunch of thieves at the moment. So Sub why sexy. don't you animals try to pick up the pace? Mm. This isn't right. The white thing would never work with a human, especially not one like that. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, I think uh, that's what I kind of thought. Like maybe uh, they're just wearing white thing stuff to no, so you that. Idiot. The this blame will go leash. to the white thing. No, what the? Oh, for nobody move. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, take it easy there, little lady. Little lady, I really dig this character. She's got like a twenties, fifties vibe. Fang. Why are you aiding this scum? <laughs> oh, kid, didn't you get the memo? What are you talking about? Uh, the white thing hmm. and I are going in on a joint business venture together. Tell me what it is, or I'll put an end to your little operation. It's obviously, I mean, it's obviously done. I wouldn't exactly call it a little operation. Okay, the other girls need to show up now, Sailor Moon style, and kick some ass, because Blake's in a lot of fucking trouble if she's alone. Yep. Oh, no. Let's get it. I love his cane weapon. 
I want one. Actually, I used to have a I used to have a walking like a cane weapon, but it was a sword. Ha ha ha! My monkey man. Leave her alone. Twilight reference. You are not the brightest banana in the bunch, are you, kid? <laughs> Damn, that's a cool weapon. Are those? Is it just a staff, or was that nunchucks that turned into a staff? Either way, it's cool. <laughs> Lakes weapons? Yeah, nunchucks! And guns! Okay, those officially just became my favorite weapon. They're red, they're nunchucks, a staff, and guns. Best weapon ever. That being said, Blake's weapon is really boring. Ooh. Oh, hello, Red. Isn't it past your bedtime? Ruby, hm. are these people your friends? Penny, get back! Oh, man. What is she doing here? Please tell me she's not working with him. Oh, okay. She's like a fucking robot or something. She's a weirdo. Yup. I kind of got like robot kind of weird vibes. How she was talking was just so inhuman. I don't really know what made her though. Hmm. Joy has gone hostile. So what? She's what? She's Magneto? I don't know, but she's definitely some kind of robot cyborg. So Roman's working with the with the white thing. Hey. So they were off. They were off fucking each other. That's my head cannon. I want you to know that I'm no longer associated with the white thing. Yang and Weiss were getting it on. How long we've been searching for you? Aww. Twelve hours. Twelve hours. Twelve hours to think about this. And that twelve hours, I've decided. Oh, stop. So cute. I don't care. I don't, care. don't care. You said you're not one of them anymore, right? Mm -hmm. I, I haven't been since I was younger. I don't, I don't want to know. Yeah. All I like, no, nope, don't next tell time me. This big comes up, you fucking tell us. You come to your teammates. Hell yeah. And not some. someone else. Mm. Aww. Aww, she's crying. I probably cry. I teared up a little bit, but I would I would have probably cried if, if it wasn't. I'm still not quite sure how I feel about you. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Where's Penny? You should know better than to go running around in a strange city. I know. So. Huh. Penny, your time will come. Who the fuck does she work for? SG Queen's hmm. Pong. Hmm. Exactly, Ozpin. Hmm. Roman. How very disappointing, Roman. Whoa! <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see you guys so soon. We were expecting more from you. Hmm. <laughs> you were the ones who oh, suggested working with those stupid mutts from the White Fang. 
Hey. Who's that yourself. over there? We have big plans for you, Roman. Mm -hmm. All we ask is a little cooperation. This girl's really pretty. That's all I really know. She's pretty. Alright, so that was the finale. Um, It didn't really leave us with too bad of a cliffhanger, I feel like. Weiss and Blake, they made up, which is good. Uh, a progress towards, towards a towards Weiss's understanding of these creatures and we gotta see more of a sexy monkey boy and Yang again didn't have much of a part in this one but but Yang and Weiss 110 percent 69 just saying well off screen of course but that's what happened obviously clearly we we know that happened Roman is working with the white fang Possibly, probably, but we don't know why and we haven't really got much information on that. And then there's uh, this girl that just got introduced that was also in one of the trailers, I believe. She was, she was in the helicopter, but I can't remember which one it was. Either way, that was a great fucking ending. Thank you again, all of you guys, so fucking much for watching and supporting me, subscribing, and just, yeah recommending this series. I can't believe I've already watched an entire season of it. It's just so fucking good. It's addictive, honestly. So I can see why you guys recommended it and why it's got such a great, huge fan base. And from what I can tell, a really nice fan base. I like the fan base. There's always bad seeds, but you know what I mean. It's really cool that y'all seem to overall just love the show and really appreciate how great it is. Um... I love you guys. Thank you so fucking much for everything. Like, comment, subscribe, share, etc., etc. Peace out.